Hello there, welcome to this video. This video is for learning activity two of AO2 task one. This video is for students working on the B grade or the merit grade. Okay, so if you're either working on a pass, which is the C grade, or you're working on the A grade or distinction, you don't need to watch this video. So this video is for students on the B grade. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct an advanced search using the tools given in a search engine. Now, for your task, if you look on the task sheet for AO2, I've given you lots of different places that you can search for in France. There is the Bastille, there is the Louvre Museum, the Eiffel Tower, a lot of places. For the purposes of what I'm doing now, I'm going to be using the Louvre Museum. So I'm going to go into my search engine and I'm going to type in Louvre Museum and press enter. And I have just conducted a simple search. But because you're working on a B grade, your search must be slightly more advanced. Now, I just want to point a few things out before we move on. This here is what we call the search term. This is what you're searching for. So you're searching for the Louvre Museum. This is the search term. The search term are simply the keywords that you use in your search. And these here are the results of your search. It says that currently there are 9,750,000 websites on the World Wide Web which have information containing Louvre and Museum in them. Okay, so that is what I need you to remember because you will need to label all of these. The Louvre Museum is your search term and the search results are the hits or what you got back. Now underneath you have all these web pages that are labeled and arranged clearly in order of what we call ranking. Now the ranking, just to explain in simple terms, simply shows which web pages are actually popular or are the most visited or contain maybe the best information. That is how they are labeled and ranked in order. Now, remember, you are looking for a web page with an image. That is your task. So you need to move your mouse cursor and click on images. That takes you to the images page. Now you're conducting an advanced search. So far, all we've done here is what we call a simple search. To conduct an advanced search and filter or determine the characteristics of your search, you move your mouse cursor and click on the options bar and click on advanced search. First thing, this section with the words. Let's remove that. Louvre Museum. If you want to search for all these words, Louvre Museum, you type them in this box. If you want to search for an, an exact word, you use this particular selection. And I'm going to use that one. So I'll move Louvre Museum from the top and type it in the second box. That means I want to find the exact term Louvre Museum. I want you to then scroll down to the bottom to usage rights. Very important. Okay, we, do, we want to make sure that we are not, we are taking images that do not breach anyone's copyright. Okay, we are looking at websites with information that we can use. So we scroll down and we choose free to use, share or modify. Okay, and then click on advanced search. And there we have it. Most importantly, I want to once again point out a few things here for you to remember. So bear with me. Guys, listen, this was your search term, but look what has happened to the search term. Something has been added to it. You will see that there are these quotation marks around the search term, meaning your search term was restricted to only things to do with the Louvre Museum. Okay, if there was any web page on the internet that doesn't have anything to do with these two words or these two words don't appear together, they will not show on your web page. And that is what these two quotation marks mean. You've restricted your search to Louvre Museum. Another thing I want to point out underneath here is the filters you've used for your search. Okay, you filtered according to labeled for reuse with modification meaning all these pictures are pictures from web pages with information that you can use without worrying about copyright. Now let's see. I'm going to pick 
one picture from here I'll pick this one click it once I want you to look to the right and look at these options I want you to click on visit page and look at the whole web page and here you have the image okay that you can use and underneath the image guys if you look at the image it says it right clearly here it says you are free to share to remix okay that means you can take this picture without worrying about copyright you can save a copy of this picture without worrying about copyright so you've done your search you have filtered and refined your search by using the advanced search tools remember when we had the quotation marks here okay let me just go back so i can show you you filtered it so you have the quotation marks showing that you only searched for web pages with the louvre museum and you also filtered it by making sure you have images that you can reuse and modify and that is how you found this web page which has information has a picture on it that you can use and that is pretty much how you conduct the advanced search okay to find this image now I want you to go and do it for yourself remember there are lots of places that you can search for they're all provided on the task sheet please go and do it now thank you